welcome back to another Gypsy Fae Creation soap making episode. Tiara here. And in today's episode, we're doing some natural colorants. We're going to make a green tea soap. And why not use some real green tea? I've got some matcha powder, big bag of it, and I thought, besides cooking with it, why don't I try and make some soap with it? So I've done some research, and I'm crossing my fingers, and I'm hoping this turns out. Let's get started. matcha powder. It's a huge bag. I don't think we'll ever run out. But what happens when you use botanicals in soap is they just turn brown. So there's a couple different ways that you can still add it in. Like if you had a cup of tea and you used that instead of water, um, you can just spoon it in dry. Again, it's going to turn out brown. So I try to do um, an, an infusion in this oil here. This is olive oil and the matcha powder that there's a couple ways of doing an infusion as well. You can stick it in a mason jar and let it sit forever. Or you can put it in a double boiler or a crock pot. I put it in a double boiler. So that's what this is. This is my olive oil and the matcha powder. Who knows, it might still turn brown in the end. So only one way to find out. So I don't know if I even did this correctly, but that, that's what that is. So I'm mixing that in. Um, to my shea, my castor, my canola, my coconut, and a little bit of palm. And then I also have this green tea seed oil, and it's from Brambleberry. It was a grab bag for $5 of all kinds of samples, and it was a good deal, but everything leaked on each other. So I got a couple bottles in there. I don't even know what they are. I do know this one is green tea seed oil. So I've also decided to add that to this recipe because it's everything green tea in this, in this soap today. So, it smells good already. It doesn't look good, but <laughs> it smells good. All right, and then um, sodium lactate, lye, and water solution. Pouring that down the kitchen vibrator. I'm gonna give that a whirl. I hope everyone's crossing their fingers on this because I really don't want brown soap. I'm really trying to achieve the green tea look, but I don't know. <laughs> Up there, look at that. That is, that is a perfect light trace. And then we're going to split this into three different containers. Because I also have another natural colorant or two that I want to use. So splitting this. I'm going to pretend like I'm I know what I'm doing here. I really am. So in one of these is going to stay the color that it is. And the other other color, I've got some titanium dioxide that I have mixed with some distilled water. And then I have this stuff. This is called spirulina powder, and it's like a superfood. It's actually a blue-green algae. It's kind of gross. We actually bought this for shakes and stuff until you open it up and you smell it and be lucky you can't smell it through that camera because it smells like straight fish food. And I'm going to regret this the whole time I'm making soap because I'm going to keep smelling it. And I'm only starting with the tiniest little bit of this because it smells so bad. I don't know how people use this stuff in soap. Ugh. It's straight fish food. I'm hoping that doesn't affect the scent of the soap. So let's start with this white here. And I'm really hoping that a little bit of that goes a long way because <laughs> the smell sure does. Ugh. God, I'm going to gag. <laughs> you might be asking yourself, why are you using it then? 
I don't know, because everyone else does, and I thought I'd try it. I have no idea if this will turn brown. I, guys, I really don't know what I'm doing. I mean, this stuff really is good for you. It's green, so it has to be good for you. It uh, has like antioxidants and stuff in it, so I think I'll just stop there. So I wanted to give it a try, give it a chance. Maybe I'll get used to the smell, you know, the more I stand here and have to inhale it. Um, I don't know, it, it's, it's a good colorant, right? It says you can put it in like muffins and smoothies and power bars. I'm just gonna put it in soap because I'm not going to eat it. It is what it is! got different greens here. That's, that's really what I was going for, so. The fragrance I'm going to mix in here in a second is from Brambleberry. It is kind of where half of the inspiration for the soap came from. The other half was just the giant bag of matcha powder that we got for Christmas. All right, so no vanilla in this supposed to behave well, doesn't discolor, doesn't accelerate. And I'm starting with the, the darker color. Let's do the darker color first. Ooh, this is quite an earthy green smelling soap quite invigorating. Alright, so I'm going to mix each one of these in. I'm going to try and do some layers here. I thought like, hey, I should do a chopstick swirl because I've not done that with you guys and, you know, green tea and chopsticks kind of seem like, you know, peanut butter and jelly to me. But I really want to create some layers with this soap to really distinguish these greens. So... I'm going to make the bottom layer a in the pot swirl these two colors. I'm going to put a gold mica line in there and then I'm going to put in the pot swirl with the plain green on top and it's just going to be a royally green majestic looking soap, I hope. Or it's just going to be a brown blob with a pretty gold line in the middle. All right bring you in for a closer look here. All right, I know I keep bringing this up, my embarrassing table, but you know what? It kind of adds the marker of like where to put my soap mold and material so that I'm not cutting anything out of the camera here. All right. So I'm just pouring the one color in to the other color. I'm putting my spatula in there just to give it a little bit of a swirl and then I am pouring it in here just like so. I'm going to scrape this out. most uncoordinated person with this like I'm just, I cannot scrape out a bowl to save my life without making a mess or ruining the design or showing you the butt of my bowl so I apologize So, with that done, giving that a whack. <laughs> and then moving on to the mica line. Got some just copper mica here and a little sifter. Just making sure you guys can see everything. Aren't these pretty colors? I love it, so far anyway. I really love the whole natural 
coloring thing that I've got going on so far. I just really want it to actually keep the colors that I am trying to go for. Okay, so I'm going to spray that with some rubbing alcohol. So I'm rubbing it. This, this is making a huge mess. Rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to pull the other batch of green over here and mix that up. It's already turning brown. <laughs> Hopes and dreams out the door. Who knows? It might go back once it saponifies. Well, one can only wish. Because this was green before and now it's not. I think I'm going to, nah, I'm not. I'm just gonna put the white in to this bowl. And scrape that out. So next step, I really didn't leave myself too much space behind this table, so if I bang into it and things move, that's why. <laughs> Set that to the side, give this a little mixy, a little swirly swirl, and pour on top of this. Using the spatula here, I don't want to break my mica line. I also don't want to break the bottom layer. Guys like my brown soap. <laughs> okay. So then once this starts to thicken up a little more, I'm going to use the spoon method. Hold on, whack. I'm going to use the spoon method to make a little designy thing on top. And then I've got some chamomile and some like dried flowers and some green tea in this little bowl here that I'm going to put on top of the soup. So, let me clean this up and let this sit and we'll be back to do the top. All right, looks like it's ready. Um, wanting to try some other stuff here. I've got a little bit of the matcha powder that has been sitting in the olive oil. And I'm just going to sprinkle some of that atop. Maybe that creates some green in the end and doesn't cause brownness. And see where I can get with that. And just kind of swirl that in there. This pretty design isn't even going to stay on here in the end because I'm still going to play with it. Even though that looks nice. Alright. Just going to make a little spoon design on this one side here. Back to this green tea oil, um, green tea seed oil that I got from Brambleberry. Um, their website tells you a little more about it. Um, it's consistent, consisting mostly of monosaturated fatty acids like omega-3, 6, and 9 um, fatty acids. It is a nutrient-rich oil, um, making it great for the skin, high in skin benefiting vitamins A and B. So I'm really excited to try this soap. Um, <clears throat> might be a new ingredient to use in the future and make other products with. We will see. All right, that's all I'm doing on there. And then I've got some snowflake sparkle glitter from 
brambleberry that I just wanted to sprinkle a little bit of this on top here. Kind of look like it's a matcha tea latte. Get a little bit of a white froth on there. And then I'm going to take these guys and stick them on the side. And when I get done this, I'm probably going to have to make myself a cup of this green tea uh, matcha powder. And just call it a day, a like green tea day. Anyone else here um, ever tried green tea? It, it might be an acquired taste. It is a little strong. It is a little earthy, like you're, you're eating tea leaves. But I enjoy it. Um, add a little bit of honey to it, and it's great. Some people might just prefer some coffee over tea. I like both. I am a coffee and a tea person. I definitely have a cup in the morning and then I have a cup of tea at night and alternate because I don't drink soda. I also don't drink water. I'm really bad at that. Um, I just love coffee and tea. If I go out to a restaurant, I usually have to get either one of those things. I should probably drink more water. Um, anyone out there just a coffee and or tea drinker? Like do you prefer one over the other or do you hate one or do you hate both? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like tea or do you like coffee? Alright, spraying this with the isopropyl alcohol. Going to let it sit. Cut it in 24 to 48 hours and pray that there is some kind of green in here. Yay! Kitty cats are hungry. Uh -huh. All right, I love the soap. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Didn't turn brown. Now I probably jinxed myself, and then it'll turn brown, you know. <laughs> but, but I had to cut it sideways because of all these things on top are going to make marks inside of it. It's uh, really hard not to wow. mess it up. But this is a spirulina. And then there's the gold mica line, mm -hmm. and then there's the titanium dioxide and the just matcha color. Isn't that awesome? It didn't, excuse me, it didn't turn brown. It's lovely. And it smells delicious. It is the most refreshing, bright, green smell ever. Okay. Let's see, this is getting on my nerves here. Oh, no. how, how do I fix that? How do you fix that? That's this side's good. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you cut it really fast. Like, ah! I'm afraid to do that and break the cutter. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or make it worse. I don't know. Oh, no. That's We're okay. just going to look at this side. Yeah, that's it. Just this side. This pretty side here. And... The spirulina doesn't smell too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it smelled like green tea to me. It does smell like... It does... The bottom good. layer does smell a little teeny tiny different than the top layer. Oh yeah, spirulina has got a very nice um, tuna smell. <laughs> hey Bradley, do you prefer coffee or tea? You know the answer to that already. Coffee. Of course. <laughs> what is the point of tea? I'm loving the colors of this, and so far I can say that I am so happy that it didn't turn brown. Like I thought for sure it was going to. So the infusion possibly worked, and I'm going to have to do that with all kinds of different botanicals now to see what colors I can get. Cool stuff. That is very cool. I love that line. I'll zoom it back out for you. That was, that was a cool line. I love that micro line in there. It just perfect. I think this would be a regular soap. What do you think? Definitely. What does everyone else think? Should this be a regular soap? I think it should be. Oh my god, the cats are being maniacs right now. What do they got? A a That's just Gypsy. She is the maniac. It is a tag of an H M H and M jacket. <laughs> Gave up on it. Very pretty. It's very beautiful. This is like the, probably one of, I, I can't say simplest soaps because it could definitely be simpler, but it is definitely a 
not high top, fancy in bed type of soap. It's not fancy, but it has a very good, there's a lot going on in it. Like, and it's got some natural colorings in it, so that also. I like all the greens. All right, guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, leave them down below and let me know, coffee or tea. And until next time, smell you later.